Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Before you do anything, please hit the subscribe button to see more videos from me and to support me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're getting ready to get into this video where I did this emerald eye look with the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is just absolutely beautiful. I hope you like it. I hope you love it. I hope you comment, subscribe, and again, hit that subscribe button with the bell. So I already put my eyeshadow base down using the NYX eyeshadow base in white. Um, I'm going in with the color Roxanne as my safety net over my eyes, so a little brown. I really like this palette. I actually bought this one on a whim also. I was just in Ulta walking around a, a long time ago, just like this video has been done ages ago, and I'm just now putting it out. But I was in Ulta walking around. I felt it. I was like, wow, this really feels nice. I think I'm going to buy this. Because I know of Jaclyn Hill, but I didn't really know no of her like that. I know, I'm the only person living under a rock, just like me with social media. I swear, I'm going to get better. I promise. But yeah, I really like this palette. I enjoyed it. Now I'm going in with the color Jada. And yeah, I already just like jumped to this. Trying to make it short, sweet, and simple. Going in in the inner corner of my eye with the color queen i just love that name anything with like royalty i love it i absolutely love it what's going on in draw my eye here i really like how this look turned out too even though it kind of bled a little at the top if that's even the right way to say it i still think it it came out nice like it looked like that was intentional and i like how it like transitioned down You'll see later on in the video it did it. Yeah, that's the color queen in her eye. Now I'm going in with the color Jax. I think I'm doing it over. Oh no, I'm doing it on the corner of my eye, like the outer part of my eye, that third section. Yeah. Just to deepen it, just a little bit. Give it some dimension. Do it look like I know what I'm doing yet? I think a lot of my videos so far have been coming out great, but I know it's like one that I'm a little iffy about, but I'm gonna be posting like way, way, way down in the future. I know I'll probably put a picture up on you know, Instagram, but like, do it look like I know what I'm doing? Sometimes I doubt it, but I don't know. I try, I try my best. And that's why I say if I can do it, you can do it too. Really just blending everything in, making sure it looks okay. I poke myself in the eye anytime I do an eyeball like that. Now I'm getting ready to go in with, I believe it is CoverGirl. Ooh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. It's either CoverGirl or Maybelline liquid eyeliner. I believe it's CoverGirl though. CoverGirl 355 liquid eyeliner in dark brown. Like, don't quote me on it. That's just what I'm trying to remember from my brain, even though my brain sometimes shuts down on me. I mean, I should know it since it's like the one of the only two that I have. And I use it in every video, basically, because I just love the brown eyeliner I like how this works for me where it's small nice and precise for the most part like yeah I really like this one and I think that's it I hope that's it if you really want to know just like write in the comment box below and I will make sure I type it to you give me a reason to type something right I'm pulling off the tape only to reveal that I messed up. How can I mess up the tape? How? How? Just leave it to me. But it's okay because I didn't put my foundation on, which I am about to go in with my foundation. And the only foundation I really use is the Fenty foundation in the color 390. And again, since this video is old, but I'm releasing it later, she now came out with like so many more foundation shades and everything. Like, look how old this is. Like, I'm using a brush in this video. And all my new videos, basically, I'm using a sponge. I might switch back to a brush. I don't know. 
But now I'm starting to wonder if this really matches me. Like, if this is a summer shade for me, since it's kind of orange and tan. Or is this just, like, a reason to justify me spending even more money to get another foundation? It's not like it matters, though, because I want to get everything from Fenty. Like, literally everything. Yeah, that's just me putting my foundation on, blending everything in. Now I'm going in and highlighting under my eyes with the match stick from Fenty in the color caramel or caramel, however you want to say it. Again, another thing I cannot wait to get is that Fenty concealer. Like I want the Fenty concealer and the Fenty setting powder. Like I'm getting it. Like I have to. I can pay tomorrow. I'm going to straight to Sephora. I really got my fingers crossed, hoping they have it. Yep. Um, what is that I'm putting on my eyebrows? I know it's the Boots number no. 7 eyebrow gel. Yeah, that's what that is. I actually remembered. Yay me. Sometimes I put it on my eyebrows or my eyelashes. Like, wherever there's hair, I'll put it there. Now I'm going in and doing my actual eyebrow eyebrows with the NYX eyeshadow cake powder yeah that's what it's called eyeshadow no eyebrow eyebrow cake powder see mm, caught me slipping caught me slipping and thankfully since my eyebrows are already arched it makes it easier for me but my eyebrows naturally aren't that bad they're just like little triangles and sparse hairs on the end but I like them arched to make this e even easier and I don't like them like really heavy, even though sometimes I'll look and it looks like I do them really heavy. But yeah, just on my eyebrows. I might do a separate eyebrow tutorial. I mean, there's like a million out here, but it could be a million in one, right? Now I'm going in with my Derma Blend Satin Powder. That's like the only satin powder that I have. Until I get for Fenty, of course. And I'm putting that under my eyes or on my forehead or like in between my eyebrows, whatever you call that space. You know, like where I highlighted it. Just slightly putting it there, not too much. I don't want to look like a crazy person. Now I'm going in with truffle to contour my nose, around my face, my forehead, my cheeks, you know, all the typical places. And that is of course a matchstick from Fenty. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced bronzer. I love this bronzer. Now even if Fenty did come out with a new bronzer, I'ma get hers and I'ma keep my Too Faced. Like, I just love the smell of it. 
And I love the packaging and everything. And I would just go back and forth because I really do love this bronzer. It's just, it's just yummy. It, it works and it, it, it makes me think of chocolate because it smells like chocolate. And who don't need to sniff that every now and then when they don't have it? I don't know, but it's a weird confession, I guess. Now I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Eyelash Base. It really helps to plump up my eyelashes, prep them for mascara. I like it, but I'm still looking for a true, true mascara that really works for me. I'm so sorry you guys that I cannot tell you what mascara this is because like I said this video is so old that mascara is long and going but now that I'm looking at how it worked in the video I might have to get it again. I do know it's a drugstore so it's an easy find. The packaging is very you know it stands out green top pink bottle so I know you would recognize it. Now I think I really like how this working. Hmm. Did I go get it? See, look at me. Always finding ways to spend money. Shame, shame, shame on me. The lip liner I'm using is ColourPop BFF3. Or maybe it's just BFF. I think it's BFF3, but I know it's from ColourPop. It's the one I always use. If I'm not using that, I use their Urban Decay Conspiracy. But in this video, I don't think I had the Urban Decay Conspiracy. For the lip, yep, I'm using something different. I'm using Appy from ColourPop. That's A P P Y. Like not happy, but Appy. Let's just switch back and forth between that and my Sephora look because that was not bad. Now as for the gloss, I'm using the Shayla gloss from ColourPop. Like, I realize nude lips are just like my go-to look. I really do love them. I have like other colors, but I don't always use them because then it makes me where I really have to think about my eyeshadow look versus I can do any eyeshadow look, have a nude lip, and it makes sense. I hate that you cannot see it, but that is the highlighter pose from the Shayla ColourPop collection from her palette Perception and all that jazz. Yeah, I think I'm almost done this video. I'm so grateful if you continue to watch at least even up until here. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Like. You just don't even know how much this means to me because, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what I gotta do to get more views and all that stuff. I know I need to promote more. Mm -hmm. Pulling my wig edges back 
or bangs back. Gotta get here, gotta get there to get that highlight right. I figured I showed you everything that I was using still in the video, so I didn't have to say anything. But thank you, thank you so, so much for watching my video and watching it all the way through. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, even though I'm not active on that yet. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, and continue to watch my next video.